Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this one, we are going to continue our work from the last one and we're going to create some custom RBAC rules. So let's just get to that task, custom RBAC rules. So what we have done, we have created a management group to govern our subscription. We have placed the subscription under this management group. And over here, uh, we need to download a file and the file is going to be under all files labs and this particular path now to download the files what you can do you can go back in here and there is says a content directory you can click on download here it should give you this uh, download download box and then you save your file and once you have saved your files you can open it up and then you can extract that to some place where you know. So I have already extracted that in here. Now going back to this particular lab, it said you need a file, and the file you'll be is going to be found under all files. So there's all files. You go there, then labs. Here's my labs. Then zero two. Here's my zero two folder and az 10402 a custom role definition edition, and that's the file that I'm looking at right now. Okay, uh, what they're saying, open the file in notepad. So here uh, you can open with, maybe you can say, well, I'll just open it with what we have. Well, let's, look, let's open it with notepad. So I'm just gonna search for notepad. Once I have a notepad here, I'll just bring this in here and put it right there and open it in my notepad. So, and if you look at it, this matches what we have here. So here, this is a, a, a JSON formatted custom role. So the name of the role is support request contributor. It's a custom role. Is custom? Yeah, it is a custom role. So you have this as true. You have some description for this particular role. Allow to create a support request. Then actions, what kind of actions that you are uh, allowing okay, this particular role to do. So that is go under this, so you, that person, can go to subscription resource group and read and it can all uh, and for, for, so for this one he can only read for the support you have a star so that's a wildcard character so it can do read write and all of that stuff not next one if you want to want that that road to not do something specifically you would put it here but we have not done anything and you also have to assign the scope where is that scope so right now the scope if you see providers microsoft management group and this is the management group uh, where you are going to assign this this uh, this role and you're going to provide the subscription id and this is where you are going to get the subscription id so let's just go here and uh, get the subscription id is right there subscription id i'm going to copy this here and uh, come back to my notepad and put it right there so that should do it let's see what that's coming back to the lab so it says replace a subscription id so we have just done that in the azure portal open a cloud shell pane and uh, we're gonna do some stuff uh, we perform a select either pass or parse or select parse okay so when we say cloud shell, so let's just copy this one we're gonna need it sometime so come back over here and over here if you Take your uh, mouse that it says cloud cell you click on it it will open a uh, uh, cloud cell for you if you for the first time you're opening it uh, it will not directly go to the cloud cell in here we're going to use the power cell you can do both bash or power cell so let's go uh, and it will create a storage account for now i'm just going to go and with the default and just say create storage and this should give me a prompt Okay, and if you read this note if this is the first time you are starting cloud shell and you are presented with you have no storage mounted message select the subscription you are using in the lab and click create storage so this is the subscription we have so i have only one subscription so didn't really have to do anything now the blue background indicates that we have the power cell a version of the shell available to me if you move to bass uh, you will see that background will change to black but we are good because we are using the parcel we should be good so the next thing in the toolbar 
of the cloud shell click the upload download file icon then we're gonna upload this particular file okay if you need to upload this file let's just save this file uh, save as uh, okay so here uh, lab 2 so let's just make it a little bit easier so I'm just gonna save it under desktop and over here what we need to do we need to click the upload download and if you click and come here take your mice mouse there it will say the upload download so I'll click and then say upload and from desktop uh, I'm gonna pick up the file that I need hold on for a second all right so over here this is the file that I have that I need to upload az104 so hit ok and it says upload destination home student is completed so for here if you actually do a ls you should see that this file would show up okay so you know that file is now available to you so we are uh, done with this step and in here we need to run this particular command and put it in here so I, what I did I copied this one and paste it right there and what the command says if you look at it new az role definition that's a powershell verb now combination so it's a command let where you are saying hey go get the input file and the input file is located at home then this is the name of the file so what it happened it it grabbed the role and it uh, went through everything and it uh, also learned about the assignable scope and it knows it's going to go to the management group and that particular subscription okay so that's all for this video so uh, in the next video uh, let's do this assign this role uh, to some users so what we have done in this lab we have created the custom role and the custom role now available uh, in this particular management group so really if you go over here go to management group and uh, you have say uh, resource group and uh, let's go to IAM on any of this so if you go to any of this and IAM and role assignments you are probably going to find our roles you're going to see the role that we have created and what is the name of the role that we have done let's, uh, let's support request contributor so if you copy this one and uh, try to find this one you see that role is showing up now nobody has got the role yet but this role is now available it's a, a, a custom role that we have created at the moment let's see oh this is actually well the role is now available in the next video let's go there and investigate it further and uh, apply the role to some users okay thank you